Many people do everything in their power to pursue their dreams of greatness and success. While struggling against the overwhelming tide of obstacles brought by life. And some are simply destined for it. Meet Lita Urbina. Owner of Café Laguna, Laguna Garden, Laguna Express, U Kitchen and Lemongrass. Known as the pioneering matriarch of Tagalog heritage dishes in the Visayas, Lita admits that her success in the restaurant business seemed unlikely due to the laid-back nature of her personality. She was a leaf on the proverbial stream, going with the flow of things without a worry in the world. She eventually married the love of her life, who just happened to be a military doctor. And as fate would have it, she and her family would soon be accompanying her husband to a new post in Cebu. There, she started off selling aroscaldo to the patrons of the cockpits. Soon after, she would open a small carinderia, selling Tagalog dishes which had a high demand in Cebu, but were in short supply. Before Lita knew it, the cars of customers were lined up down the road as the carinderia had no parking area to speak of. As it turned out, some of the people who lined up daily at the carinderia were Ayala land executives. These loyal customers from Ayala would soon bring the idea of setting up a restaurant inside Ayala Center Cebu to Lita Urbina. They guided her through financial projections, concept studies and restaurant plans, holding Lita's hands all the way as she took a big leap. Soon after, Café Laguna opened its culinary doors at the Ayala Center Cebu in 1994. In the span of 19 years, that single restaurant location has not just fed people, but Lita's passions as well. It has also served as the catalyst to the ever-expanding Urbina restaurant business. Out of Lita's six children, four have joined the family business. Lita's son, Chef Raki, is a fifth child and shares much of his mother's interest in traditional and international dishes. He's had much experience managing the Urbina kitchen, which specializes in dishes cooked using the traditional wood-fired oven or pugon. From the looks of it, mother and son won't be resting on their laurels anytime soon. So what does the future have in store for Lita? She says that she and Raki will be focusing more on lifestyle cuisine, which is heavily based on the eating habits of customers, and that they will soon be opening a casual restaurant that serves dishes cooked in stone pots. It will be located at the new expansion of Ayala Center Cebu. It seems that Lita and Raki's lives continue to be intertwined with Ayala land as they share and celebrate their culinary creations with more and more people. On its 25th anniversary, Ayala land's story continues on, reaching out, building communities, and celebrating the Filipino.